This is getting out of hand as Jalen Bronson is proven to be getting zero foul calls this season, and we have to talk about this because he's one of the best players in the NBA who creates some of the most contact in the league. So let's break this down, guys. What's up? Welcome back to Knicks Digest. It's Chris here, and we're going to waste no time jumping right into the video because as we saw last night and every other Knicks game this season, Jalen Brunson gets around zero foul calls per game, despite the fact that he's constantly getting assaulted out there on the court. It's getting to the point where it feels like someone could shoot Jalen Brunson in the middle of the court, and the foul would somehow manage to be against the Knicks. We have a lot on this, as recently Brian Windhorst, who called Jalen Brunson a foul merchant not that long ago, is saying Jalen is getting a very poor whistle. He's also a victim of the way the NBA is officiating the games in the second half of the year. I know that people didn't like when I said Jalen was a foul hunter, but unfortunately, he is a foul hunter. Not every time, but he has these tricks. The frustrating thing is it feels like it's happened a number of games in a row while the Knicks are on the losing streak. I get it. Jalen is such a brilliant player that his game shouldn't be predicated on whether he gets fouls or not. Now, look, here's the deal. Jalen Brunson, yeah, he looks to draw fouls, but he also is getting fouled, and he's not getting foul calls like many other players in the NBA do. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Brunson is a very physical player. He ends up on the floor around nine times per game, but never gets calls. I mean, the man scored 61 points and made six free throws. Six! He scored 55 of those points through field goals. That's insane. It's nuts. When Wilt had 100 points, 28 of them came from free throws. Over a quarter of them. For Brunson, 10%. 10. See, I did the math there for a quick second. I had to make sure I was getting that one right. But it's ridiculous that Jalen Brunson just cannot get a foul call. This has been the case, especially after the All-Star break. And I'm afraid that this, all this contact, the lack of foul calls, I'm afraid it's going to wear on him in the playoffs with the heavy usage and heavy minutes he's playing. And Tom Thibodeau is furious about this. Now, if you go check out Nick's Digest TikTok, I just posted our inaugural, aka our first TikTok, and it's about this. And he said... He's getting fouled, 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 and then he stormed out of the room. Tom Thibodeau basically went into the press conference, was asked about Brunson just constantly getting hacked, getting no calls, and Tibbs basically just repeated the phrase, he's getting fouled, before storming out of the room. Now, I love that Tibbs did this. It showed how much he has Brunson's back, and it shows how infuriating it is as a coach or literally a fan. Anyone who's watching this game, who even has a modicum of knowledge on this sport, can tell that Brunson is getting fouled. Not to mention that, but he's been the victim of dirty plays, such as Bam Adebayo, the man who just, you know, doesn't care about anyone's health or wellness in the NBA and will just go out of his way to hurt people to make his competition easier because that's how Bam succeeds in the NBA. Just blame Blatantly tripped Brunson with seven minutes left in the game. No call. Why would there be? It's Bam. He's it, Bam Adebayo could pull out a shotgun, blow Jalen Brunson's head off, burn down the arena, go on a murder spree, and guess what's going to happen? Tibbs is going to get ejected for arguing with the refs. That is what would happen. Because Bam Adebayo does not care about the health and wellness of other people. None of the Miami Heat do. They go out there and try to hurt you. And that's why they go to the NBA Finals constantly. Have you ever seen a player in an NBA playoff series that hasn't ended up hopping on one ankle because Bam Adebayo decided to injure them? I haven't. Every single good player I've ever seen play the Miami Heat has gotten banged up by this guy. And no one does a thing about it. At least when Draymond Green blatantly attacks someone, he gets suspended. Make it consistent. Either don't suspend Draymond Green for socking guys in the face... Or suspend Bam Adebayo for faking that he's some guy who's not hurting anyone and just playing physically when he's going out there just tripping guys left and right. Now, Jalen Brunson on the season, he's played 70 games. He's taken 1,466 shots, 430 free throw attempts. Jimmy Butler's played 53 games, taken less than half of the shots Brunson has. He shot 27 less free throws on the season. That math ain't mathin'. I don't, I, I, I don't understand what Jalen Brunson has to do to get a foul call. He shoots the ball a lot more than Jimmy Butler, but somehow is taking a similar amount of free throws. It's not like Brunson's some terrible free throw shooter who's missing a lot of these or something. No, he's an excellent free throw shooter, but God forbid the man ever can get to the line without actually breaking his entire body in half because it's just so... Inf 
It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Especially that the Heat just get away with hurting people. Every single time the Knicks get an injury. Look at this. Look at this stat. How is this possible, NBA? You're telling me this is not suspect at all. It's so ridiculous. And unfortunately, it's clearly wearing on Brunson, as Tommy Beer mentioned, because his shooting splits in the fourth quarter since the All-Star break have gone way down and are very un-Brunson, like as he put, uh, as he put it. 36% from the field, 21% from three. In contrast, during the same stretch, in the first quarter, he's shooting 46% from the field and 41% from deep. It's safe to assume that with the usage rate, the combined with the pounding he takes on a nightly basis, it's been catching up to him late in the game. And I'm worried about this because the playoffs are a more physical game. And Brunson's going to be worn down. Tibbs is really riding this Brunson trait. This, the Brunson train hard. Why? Because he has no other option because our entire team is injured. And the Miami Heat would do anything, anything to play the Knicks and injure Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson needs to be in an iron lung for the Miami Heat to be happy. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous because the NBA is on their side. And Tom Thibodeau also had this to say on Brunson, just really getting his guys back, saying, oftentimes in our league, we hear guys say all the right things and do none of them. You hear very little from him, meaning Bronson. He never talks about himself, but if you watch him, you can see what he's doing. I think those are the toughest guys. Tibbs making sure to shout out the fact that Jalen Bronson has been excellent for this New York Knicks team. And even if he burns out in the playoffs, it's hard to blame the guy. Because, like, the Knicks just wouldn't be winning games if they weren't riding Brunson like this. It's literally their only path to success because Jaime Hawkins Jr., who obviously plays for the Miami Heat, jumps in front of Julius Randle awkwardly. Julius comes down. Dislocates his shoulder. Hasn't played since. That was in January. Go figure. OG on and Obi's dealing with injuries. Remember when Quentin Grimes got injured by none other than Bam Adebayo because Bam just likes to hurt people? It's ridiculous because it happens against the Heat mostly, but also the Knicks are just full of injuries and they don't get calls to begin with. It's so insane. I, I'm i so fed up with this stuff. And if you look here, Jalen Brunson was asked about the end of the game. He said, everyone else did their job except me. Having a cold doesn't matter. Being told that he had five turnovers, he said it's carelessness. And then Tibbs repeatedly saying he's getting fouled when Brunson was asked about it. He said, we just got to adjust to how they're calling the game. Simple as that. I love that Brunson's really just keeping this positive mindset. But look, you can't adjust to the way the refs are calling the game for Brunson. No matter what Jalen Brunson does, he's not going to get to the free throw line for it. It's destroying him. It's taking all the energy out of him. And the Knicks are very likely going to lose in the first round now because they're going to have zero just... They're not going to have a healthy Brunson, guys. They're not going to. He's not going to be healthy. He's going to be banged up. Even if he's on the court, he's going to have lingering things in pain, lingering parts of his body in pain because the absolute assault that he takes on a nightly basis. I really hope they play some soft-ass team like the, like the Pacers because at least the Pacers, like, I'm not trying to hate on them, but they're not going out there trying to injure you. And the... I don't think the Magic are going out there trying to injure people, but they're a physical team. I don't want the Knicks to play a physical team in the first round. I think that's bad for them. And I just really hope the Knicks can figure this out. I'd love to play the Cavs again in the first round. They're not physical at all. They're terrified of contact. But more than anything, I just want to see someone run Bam out of bio over, dunk on him, and then sweep the Miami Heat. It's not going to be the Knicks because their whole team's injured. Thanks, Jaime, and thanks for the rest of the Miami Heat for doing that. But I just want to see the Heat really, really fail. I don't care if it's petty. I just do. And I think most Knicks fans feel the same because they're a dirty team. And I will be rooting against them every single playoff series. And I also believe that the NBA refs just do not care about Jalen Brunson. Despite the fact that the Knicks are in the biggest market. And it makes you the most money to rig anything if you're going to rig it for the Knicks. I don't get it. Unless you're rigging it for LeBron and the Lakers. Because he's the GOAT. And it's the Lakers. Enough said. Have a great day, guys. Go Knicks. This is ridiculous.